In this video, I'm going to talk about the function concatenate, which is merging data in multiple cells so that it appears in one cell. Sometimes data distributed over multiple columns in an Excel spreadsheet is more efficient to use when combined into one column. For instance, you have first name and last name of employees and you would like to join that and add the letter at the rate cxomat.com to create email addresses because you have been asked to create email addresses of the employees in the company. You have two options. Either you can go ahead and type the first name, last name and at the rate cxomat.com one by one for each employee or you could use the function concatenate to join these strings and finish this task in matter of seconds. The concatenate function is one of Excel's text functions. It is used to join two or more words or text strings together. There are two ways of concatenating or joining data and in this video we are going to look at both of those approaches. The first approach is by using the function concatenate. Each text string is separated by a comma. The second approach is by using the AND operator and each text string is separated by the AND operator. There are up to 255 text strings that can be joined together. Note that the concatenate function does not automatically leave a blank space between words or other data. To add spaces between the concatenated data, we need to add a space by using the space bar on the keyboard. So let me familiarize you with the function concatenate with the help of an example. But before we jump into it, let me tell you that there are two ways of inserting a formula in an Excel spreadsheet. The first method is by simply clicking on the fx function here, which is using the functional wizard, and typing in the name of the formula which you would like to use. So in this case, we would like to use concatenate and click go and automatically the formula would appear. Other method is simply by typing in the equal sign and typing the name of the formula. I personally prefer the typing method. Now let's look at how we can concatenate first name, last name and the email extension in one column. Type in the equal sign, type in concatenate, open bracket, select first name, comma, select the last name, comma, open inverted comma, type in at the rate cxomath.com, close inverted comma, and close bracket. Hit enter. There you have your email address. Simply double click on the sign and you have the email address for all the employees in your company. Now let's look at the second approach. In cell C10, we would like to have the first name and last name and also a space between those two words. So simply type in equal to sign, select the first name, type in the AND operator by pressing SHIFT and the number 7, open inverted comma, hit the space bar, close inverted comma, Again, type in the AND operator by pressing SHIFT and the number 7. Select last name and hit enter. There you have your first name, space and last name in one cell. Simply double click on the sign and your text is concatenated. This video was brought to you by CXO Learning Academy, a premier learning initiative by CXO Math. For any queries, you can email us at learning at cxomath.com. Thank you.